Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are in a whole new world. I know, right? FTB Beyond. Uh, so we have switched over the Sky Factory 3 subscriber server, which is a Game Wisp or Patreon subscription, for 99 a month. Saying that right now so that I don't get 40 million questions down below of where's the IP? Now, all of you people are going to be like, where's the IP? Uh, but anyways, if you do jump on there, $4.99, you can come and play with all of the subscribers. We have over 60. Um, not everybody plays, but we do get some pretty good numbers of around 20 or so. We are in the initial stages. Uh, I'm on with just two of my admins here on the server. We just set things up. I did a little exploring. They were doing some exploring for me. They were helping me out. Swell people. Swell, swell people. Um, and we are working on... Well, we found a base and a spawn is basically what we did. And... What they're working on is they're working on spawn and such. And when this pack becomes available to the subscribers, which is basically around when this video releases. So if you're watching this, it's probably available to you. And of course, if you're on the curse server, that is where all of the info normally gets transmitted and communications happen and all that type of stuff so definitely recommend joining that curse server it's also down in the description of the video if you're not there you are missing out let me tell you all right so we got some wood now we have this beautiful beautiful area here that i've already claimed i know right look at me cheating away cheating away doing all the things uh, but we are going to quickly get started here i'm going to start down in this little section um, of the map nothing too crazy just getting a few things set up so that we can progress on as my admins cheat cheaters cheaters it's fine they run tests and stuff. I don't even know what they do. They're crazy. Uh, but as you can see, I've already claimed a lot of this land. And I can show you that land space right here. It's a decent amount. Now, some of that is buffer zone. And the reason it is buffer zone, because I'm doing something a little different than normal. Normally, I run out and away from spawn. Far, far away, because all those dirty subscribers come in to visit me all the time. You know, all, all that type of stuff. No, no, no. That's not what I'm doing this time. Um, what we're going to be doing is right over here is actually going to be spawn. So right beside my base is going to be spawn. So when you first log in, you'll be able to see what I'm working on. And I'm going to be working on this mountain right here. Indeed. And it is going to be epic. I have an amazing idea. Something that I came across while playing another video game. I know, right? Who would have thought? Playing different video games to get ideas for things in Minecraft? This is madness. What madness is this? Um, we are going to be building something pretty cool. And I definitely want to focus quite a bit on building in this world. I think that these all-in-one packs or kitchen sink packs, whatever you want to call them, are more designed about setting up infrastructure and everything to make a cool build i think that's the main thing so we're definitely going to be working on this mountainside right over here and in the meantime i'm going to start setting up a little base of operations and start looking um, and digging and mining and all that type of stuff as we progress on obviously we're not in nighttime or anything like that which is perfect i get logged back in just at the right time um, but we're going to start adventuring into the mountain and uh, doing a little digging and finding of some resources here uh, also getting some upgrades and kind of just starting to get on our path um, my main goal here very early on and this kind of coincides with the previous Beyond uh, playthrough that I did do. I only did like two episodes of that. They were longer episodes with the live streaming um, for testing purposes. But I kind of dropped that pretty early on. Because I was focusing on some other endeavors. And even this, this is already too much for my plate. But I think we can slowly work our way through beyond here a little bit and do some fun things so i think i'm going to start with this and we're going to slowly progress on there is some really cool mods that have been released 
with Beyond, which is awesome. Um, one of the number one that I'm pretty sure all of you will be saying, oh yes, that is a number one, is the at Thermal Expansion. Indeed. Thermal Expansion is in, as you can see. Um, very cool. They've done some changes. Thermal Foundation is also in. The only one that's not is Thermal Dynamics, and I believe that's being worked on. So, uh, it is back. It is back. They've changed a few things. Don't get me wrong. They've definitely changed some things. Compactor, fractionings, fractionating still. Um, there's a few different things here. Aquatus accumulator, no fire. Thermal mediator, arboreal extractor. So yeah, there's some different things, different different things than what we're used to. So there's been a few changes, and I know that they're also, I believe, rewriting for 2.0 to add even more changes and really change up the thing. And honestly, that's what it all comes down to. I'm willing to wait for a mod, and Lemming is an awesome mod author, to make the changes necessary to keep mods fresh, new, uh, and exciting and interesting and make you want to play them again. So it's all those little things that really do kind of add up. As you can see, Forestry is also in the pack. Um, another th important mod that's in the pack that uh, you guys are probably surprised by or not familiar with is Tech Reborn. Tech Reborn made it into the pack, which is awesome. Lots of fun that can be had there. I'm going to dig out this massive, massive staircase. Uh, it's crazy. We are going down. We got to get them resources. I did want to get some torches, though, before we hit like a nighttime spell or something. There we go. We'll get the regular torches for now. That's fine. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's actually put those in our uh, extra little hot bar. Our good old 1102 feature. Um, yeah. We're doing pretty good overall, and I've noticed that the time is not moving. <laughs> uh, see, testing, testing phases, right? This is why I'm recording early. We're just getting things going, that's all. Uh, I think they disabled the clock is basically what happened there. Um, okay, let's get an upgraded pickaxe here. And mm, 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 no, nope, we need one of those. Beautiful, excellent, amazing, and awesome. Let's get that upgrade. Day night cycle back on. Beautiful. You know, it's a lot easier to test when it's daylight. That's one of the things I will say. So, all right, there we go. Oh, good. Some more coal. That's excellent. Um, what else is in this? I believe we have applied energistics too, I think. Oh, you know what? I do not have food on me. Ooh, we should probably go and get some food. We are in hard mode. Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go kill some piggies, I think. There's a few pigs around, and I think we can have some pork. Some pork will do just nicely. Ooh, some pulled pork would be delicious right about now. I'm sorry if I just made you hungry. Make your mouth water a little bit. Have some fun. Bam! Bam! Give me your meat. Mm-hmm. How do you like them apples? Bam! Bam! Thank you, Mr. Pig. Oh, look at the beehives. Oh, boy. We got bees. Actually, there could have been bad guys over here. I should have been a little bit more cautious. Who needs a sword? Axe works just as well. Alright, this should keep us somewhat healthy for a while here. Killing all the pigs. They're not really useful outside of food anyways, so... Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Alright, here we go. Let's quickly get ourselves a furnace. Um, now, this is an expert mode or anything like that, which I know will probably be asked in the questions. Um, that is true. It is not. I hear a spidey. My spidey senses are tingling. Um, I know that that's probably going to be asked down in the comments. Oh, when's expert mode? When's hard mode? All that type of stuff. Um, they haven't started it yet. 
they wanted to get the base pack out and fundamental just like they did with infinity um the if you guys remember the base pack did come out quite a bit before the rest did so that is the thing um that happened all right and they i think believe they wanted to do the same thing with this get this in the hands squash the basic bugs to begin with right i mean there's probably still some bugs in here i mean i did some play testing not nearly as much as i wanted to because of my job but some others did some play testing as well and they have beta testers and you name it for their packs so a lot of people did some testing and stuff but once you give it out to the public that's when the real tests begin because you all have an amazing ability of really finding you know more than what just a select few can find so they really value that over at ftb and getting it in your hands and seeing everything that it can actually do so keep that in mind make sure you report your bugs it's highly recommended it'll help out t fox it'll help out the pack it'll help progress it faster into the expert mode um, so the more that you guys can test and play and have fun and explore the pack definitely helps out the team overall over there at ftb so i highly recommend it and it also gets them excited you know it's one of those things excitement is a thing that you need to consider um let's see did we have applied energistics applied energistics is in here correct we also have refined storage if you prefer that those are a couple of the big ones i don't even know what else we have there's i do miss the whole how many mods and all that kind of stuff that we have and the list you know how there used to be the list up here you guys know what i'm talking about right actually additions is in the pack very useful mod we use that a little bit in sky factory and a few of the other packs as well um very nice mod it's done a lot of good work for many many people advanced machines advanced solar panels oh baby very nice advanced solar panels agricraft okay i'm actually surprised to see agricraft make it in i actually am um applied energistics yeah we're good aquaculture for those of you that like the aquaculture there you go uh aromas for a mining world architecture craft which is an amazing mod um definitely want to play around with that a little bit more bibliocraft build better builders wants are in the pack as well um yeah that's all bibliocraft what else do we got blood arsenal i believe this is an add-on to blood magic and all the blood magic stuff that you can do very cool i actually want to play more around with that too i haven't played around with it yet in 110 too batania of course made it um yeah it's it's a staple mod at this point right i mean we're pretty much at that point of calling it that i'm pretty sure um yeah i'm pretty sure uh what else do we got in here what else do we got ceramics interesting we'll have to play around with that a little bit and that gives you the clay buckets as well and clay armor oh very cool very cool uh chisel of course made it chisel and bits made it as well for all of the additional goodies there oh boy page 55 we're at dark utilities compact solar array very cool um compact solar array cooking for blockheads fantastic mod dark utilities yeah lots of good things have made it in here uh, i believe the ender io is in here yes indeed i don't believe mechanism no mechanism indeed uh tinker's construct is in the pack as well uh so a lot of the standard staples have made it into the pack as deathly is doing all the things i don't even know what they're doing at the moment but it's fine it doesn't matter spam my chat spam it spam that chat uh but yeah anyways i'm going to keep going down here if make sure you guys join up on the curse we, we're having discussions on the pack as well over there just some more light-hearted hey what about this what do you think about going this route for power what do you think about doing this and people are already playing it, whether they're playing it on the subserver or in single player, and they are communicating uh, and talking with the community in the chat, 
and really just being a member of the entire community over there so i highly recommend joining up over there and becoming part of that community as well very fun very awesome um you know what i should just double quick double check yeah we're good we're good we're good all right other than that i think that's the basics here we are going to need a ton of stone um my original idea here i actually got from total war warhammer i was playing a little bit of that and i got this idea this is potentially dangerous there could by theory be a creeper like right up here as i'm cursing myself we're fine we're fine we're fine um total war warhammer where i saw this built uh, and it was on a mountain and i was like that is amazing looking and i think i'm going to try my best to recreate it um to the best of my ability there might be a few fundamental problems um some of them being uh one of the main ones is it uses a lot of water which if you haven't followed me in a while or anything like that i do like some water in my builds i do like it um adding the blue just kind of adds a whole nother level as well as the dynamics that you have to incorporate for that uh, to hold the water or to make it flow and all that type of stuff is all additional design options for you. Um, but because we're going to be up on a mountain in Minecraft, guess what happens to water? Well, it freezes. So we might have a few issues with that. We'll have to see... How it all goes i don't want a frozen lake it's not supposed to be frozen so that is going to be a goal um i don't know if we can use like string or you know we might just have to do some light placement etc to keep it from freezing uh, because some of it is definitely open water okay so keep that in mind as we go through it we're also going to need a ton of stone and i mean a ton of stone um I'm not even talking a small amount. This project is going to take a lot. I might even see if some people want to help out a little bit with that. You know, maybe even donating me some stone. Stuff like that to help me with the build process um, of the base, right? And so instead of me having to do it or, you know, a quarry, waiting for a quarry because I ran out or whatever. Maybe some subs can can help out look at this cheater draconic stuff look at that look at that <laughs> by the way he's it's fine he's gets rid of it all before we uh actually open it up they just double check things so yeah um anyways yay our first iron oh boy there's a zombie right through there um so outside of that you know what while they're doing the testing i should probably just do this right where's the chat settings chat command uh, no that won't fix it hidden there we go beautiful now chat's hidden so that uh you guys don't get to see all that spam um let's see i think you know what i'm gonna do a cut because this is gonna take a while to get all the way down there and we'll resume all right so i kind of got to like a cave area down there and I've decided that, you know what, let's come back up to surface. It is daytime again. Let's work a little bit on some tinkers. I did get some iron and stuff down there. So I'd like to quickly kind of jump ahead on some tinkers construct. Ooh, wooden chairs. Good to know. One, two, one, two. There we go. Well, let's get our blank patterns. Uh, we need a few of these. We definitely need one of those. Beautiful stencil table. Lovely. We get our part builder. Amazing. Wonderful. We need a crafting table, right? Boom. Tool station. Very good. And last but not least is a chest. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. All right. And I'm going to make one more crafting table just to kind of complete this whole trifecta of the Tinker's Construct stuff. And I'm just going to quickly set it up right here. Now, the tool station... We'll go there, and then we're going to do the part builder, pattern chest, 
stencil table. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And then that'll go directly into the pattern chest. We're good to go. Excellent. Boom. And you put it right in. Awesome. Okay, we need that. We're going to need the binding, and we're going to need a tool rod. I kind of just got sick and tired of basically, well, crafting things for the most part, to say it no better than that. Uh, crafting basic stone tools for the most part, right? N unnecessary, not really required. Away we go, right? Away we go. All right, so we got that. We got that. We're good on that front. We could get, let's get that. We're going to need it at some point in time. They do also have the bows and stuff, which is really cool um, for later on. But what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make a mattock and a pickaxe. Pretty straightforward. Um, so we can go into our part builder and we can select whatever we want now. And we'll go quickly with just a stone pickaxe head. That's pretty much the easiest. Now we do need a binding and a tool rod which is good so we can do binding and we should be able to do a stick or two um that's right it does take two sticks now so let's just do this instead we'll get some planks and we'll go part builder boom one wood equals one binding good and one of those one wood equals one rod awesome so let's quickly make our first pickaxe from Tinker's Construct. Boom, pickaxe, done. I know, right? I'm so inventive with my names. It's unbelievable. How do you guys even deal? All right, so we need a tool rod with two of the other heads for the other setup here. So one tough tool rod. We're going to need an ax head. Good, one of those, and a shovel head to complete our mattock. So our mattock is going to be shovel head, ax head, tool rod, mattock, so clever i'm mean, so clever so clever all right beautiful so the mattock kind of replaces both the wooden shovel and the wooden axe i know right gg gg indeed um so i'm just gonna boop, boop. see ya nerds all right good so at least now what we can do is we can take this guy with us um actually no we actually need to take a real Hmm, we need to take a tool forge with us, don't we? Can we do this quickly? Tool station, good. So now I can take a tool station with me um, while we go mining. And then it's a quick repair of basically just using some stone that we mine to fix up our stuff. Um, I did find a cave over here and a cave straight ahead. You can see it right there. Uh, pretty expansive cave, to be honest, um, all things considered. Uh, it goes. It goes. And there's quartz right there. And there's coal up there. And there's a creeper right there. All right, creeper. You and me, buddy. You and me. Let's go. You ain't got nothing. That's right. That's right. This is my house. This is my house. Oh, hello. Well, that goes down. Uh, I will get this quartz, though. Mm-hmm. We will get the quartz. Why not? Um, there's also this up here. Okay, so this leads into the other cave that I kind of sort of lit up just from my other setup. Uh, hopefully, we don't come across any skeletons. It looks pretty clear. That's good. I'm glad that I got that set up as well. So that's some of the basic tinker stuff, which is good. And now we got a pickaxe that's a little bit more renewable than having to make a new one every single time. And I believe it also costs less resources to replenish it. It's only two cobble instead of three to make a whole new pickaxe. So that's another thing to consider as well. I know it's just cobble, but, you know, it's one of those little things when you're fresh starting out. Probably a pretty good idea to maximize some of your resources even the likes of cobble and maybe you're in a desert maybe you don't have very much cobble uh to your name so you know for those people it might be something more worthwhile right i'm going to quickly turn back on my f7 make sure that we are all 100 percent lit up in most of the areas here obviously still a few that are lacking like up here and we get some water of nastiness over here as well um, let's quickly just throw down a couple torches. 
Oh, this goes up, up, up to surface, doesn't it? It does. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. I like it. I like it. We're going to just close off the water, though. We do not need the water in this section. It's doing nothing for us except for making a lot of noise and causing for some problems. Um, all right. So more resources, more resources, more resources. That's basically the name of the game at this point. Um, really getting a ton and getting that all set up. I'm glad that I went and got that Tinker stuff, though. I think that that's already helping quite a bit um, compared to what we were doing before. So we'll get this up and running. We'll get some better stuff to expand on that and get even better stuff, which will be very, very helpful and beneficial overall. Um, this just goes down into a little cubby with more quartz. Love it. Give me all the Certus. Thank you. Thank you so much. We do need to get some charge Certus. That is something that we need, for sure. Definitely need to get some charge Certus if we're going to start into some applied energistics, which we probably should pretty early on here. What is that? What ore is that? What are we looking at? Garnerite ore from Tech Reborn. All right. Oh, there's a lot of it. Okay. Is it worthwhile? I have no clue. I have never seen this ore, and that is awesome. So that turns into nickel. Oh, it's nickel. Okay, nickel and platinum. So this is kind of like the ferris, I guess, at this point. All right, good to know. Uh, seems like quite a bit for some ferris, but uh, I'll take it. We got some marble from the chisel. Oh, baby. No charged. No charged. And a resonating crystal. Cool. I've never played with these from Deep Resonance. I've heard they're pretty awesome. I've heard they're a lot of fun. Um, I know where it is. I'm going to leave this open to it as well. That way we can explore it as we deem necessary. Um, let's see. What else do we want to get into here right away? We're getting a little bit lower. We're now at, what, Y43? It's saying on my journey map, another beautiful mod that was added to the pack. Journey map is the map that basically makes us all happy, doesn't it? Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the case. Uh, pretty sure everybody uses it at this point um, for most of their packs and everything like that. So a lot of good stuff. I figured out what Deathly's doing. Uh, he's making spawn. Yeah. Yeah, I asked. I asked. They're making spawn right now. So they're kind of gussing up a little spawn area and making a spot for the rules and, you know, all that type of stuff of the sub server. Still very early on, as I said before. So kind of sweet to see the uh, inner workings, I guess. We got some tin. Sweet. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Good. That kind of makes me a little scared. I'm not going to lie. Um... Let's just close that in a little bit more. Uh -huh. There we go. There we go. That's a, That makes me a little safer. A little happier. A little bit. All right. I'm going to keep on digging down. I probably should have done that first instead of resuming with the Tinker stuff. But I really wanted to get the new pickaxe so that my digging down experience would be improved. Ew, diorite. Ugh. Nobody likes diorite, right? Like, can we just remove it at this point from all the packs? I need a no diorite mod or a diorite to andesite mod. That's what I need because there's never enough andesite. And andesite's beautiful. So we need, yeah, we need a diorite to andesite mod automatically. Yeah, so two cobble to fully repair that guy. Beautiful. Quick and easy repair on the fly. Love it. Yeah, diorite to andesite. And you know what? Granite to andesite while we're at it. Let's just do that. <laughs> Mind you, I know more people do enjoy granite than they do diorite. I don't like either one. Just going to say it. Don't expect it from this guy. Charged. Yeah, we got shocking. Oh, baby. We are in the business now. GG. G, G. That is Applied Energistics right there. Done. Done. Because that will allow us to get Fluix 
which will allow us to get a charger and then from there it doesn't matter what we get just regular old certus will do the job because as we do it right here description charge certus with with the other stuff with the uh what is it redstone and uh what you call it or do you even need that nowadays i don't know do you need that what do we what do we need for the charger yeah this guy right here yeah, Flukes Crystal. Yeah, yeah, there we go. One Charge Certus, one Nether Quartz, one Redstone Dust in water. Same recipe as always, so definitely need to find that charge before you can even get started with Applied Energistics. Overall, good, good. I love it. All right, so we've done a little bit of work here. Uh, I, th I was kind of hoping that I had a spawner over here. I'm not, I don't think I do, but there's a skeleton, so I'm not going to go exploring that in my current state. Um, I've also come across some yellerite, which is good. Um, kinda got that going. And this monazite from modular force field systems, which is really pretty darn awesome. Um, I didn't even know that it was in the mod pack. So there you go, so some modular force field action as well, which is really cool. And we got some peridot. Peridot from Project Red Exploration, but I can't mine that just yet with my stone pick. We would need a diamond level, which is basically your iron pickaxe. It is nighttime. Um, I made it all the way down to level 11, which is where I usually like to mine. There's a nice little cave system going through um, all of this with, uh, you know, quite a few different things. And just over here, just beyond that lava, is actually a giant ravine. There's some redstone there that I'd like to take advantage of as well, but we do have a decent amount of iron. And I'd really like to start processing some of that and working on a hammer, first and foremost. Now you're probably going, why a hammer? Well, hammer's the best. Simple as that. Um, I don't think there's any better tool out there for early game. Um, I guess actually the actually additions one is pretty good too. But I think just the Tinker's Hammer, um, let's just take a look at that. Hammer, what's the Actually Editions one called? Um, what is it here? Actually Editions. Is it a drill? I think it's a drill. This one is pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but it is very expensive. It does require the Atomic Reconstructor, which you can click here. It's not too, too bad, all things considered, but you can make a much cheaper hammer um, than... <laughs> you can make a much cheaper hammer through Tinker's Construct for the early game here than going with the Actually Editions drill, even though they both work very, very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this tool station down here. Uh, that way we can take advantage and use it as necessary, just like that, good. And I'm just going to throw some cobble in there, because we can save that for when we need it to repair our tools and all that kind of stuff. Now I do want to start going in a 3x3x1 three by three by pattern. Um, actually, is Psy in this as well? Yes it is. Okay, so that's another fantastic route. To go you do need a little bit more resources than what i have currently though so keep that in mind i'm um, just kind of waiting for nighttime to pass here i was hoping that it was almost done but i guess not um, i want to get up to surface and i want to start working on a few things here if i can today in this episode because i'd like to get the hammer and I'd like to also get the Advanced Tool Forge. The other thing that I wouldn't mind doing is getting some extra utils going. Extra Utilities 2 is a wonderful mod um, that will allow us to do some pretty cool things. Like get a Crusher and stuff like that. But for that we need Redstone, obviously. Which means we need a Diamond Level Pickaxe. Okay. I mean, we could simply just make an Iron Pickaxe and call that a day. That will go to Diamond Level. Um, obviously, we, once we get Peridot, we can do Peridot, so whatever we get, we can do that. I'm thinking, though, is there maybe a different one? Mining level iron, let's just take a quick glance through here quickly. Um, doo -doo -doo, night slime, no, pig iron, no, iron pickaxe head, well, we need a smelter for that. So, I mean, it's something that we could definitely do. 
Um, but yeah, bronze. Can we make? Br well, no, we need the smelter for that too. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think most of them. Yeah, we need the smelter for most of those that can handle diamond. So I'm thinking either we need to go with a sharpening kit, um, which can be blood-infused iron. How do you even make that? I don't even know. Obsidian is definitely usually the way to go. I don't know if I have the capability of getting obsidian, though. Cobalt... Yeah, maybe the sharpening kit won't even work for us until we actually get some. Iron sharpening kit, again, requires the smelter, which is not helpful at all. Cobalt, Ardite, Manulin. You're not helping, game. You're not helping, game. What are you? Steel. Yeah, so I think no matter what, we have to go with just a regular old vanilla iron pickaxe to at least get started and mine up some obsidian. And maybe some of that Peridot even. Um, get some of that going, if you know what I mean. Is there bad guys out there? Certainly sounds like it, doesn't it? I don't know, I can't tell. Hello? Bad guys? I need wood. Let's go. Let's go. I'm always fearful. Things could just drop down on me and cause a terrible day. All right. Good. Let's get a quick little chest here. I just want to quickly set this up uh, just to dump some of our resources that we've collected. Not you. You guys. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Quick little dump. Love it. You can go. You can go. And you can go as well. Ah, beautiful. Full chest already. Um, I do need to get some more wood. We could quickly grab this guy. Um, I think I'm going to stick with the spruce, though, for now. I think we're going to go get some more spruce over here. Um, just mine it up. Mine it up. Mine it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys saw that. You guys saw that. Those skills, though. All right, so we'll get a little bit more wood. We're going to need a little bit more. And we're going to need to get the iron started. Now, I'm wondering, because we got... Um, because we got so much quartz, can we do a grindstone? Quartz grindstone. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. So, I think that's probably our best bet to quickly double our ores very early on without much effort. So that way we can at least get some of the benefits and duplica duplications um, for our ores that we've mined up so i think that's going to be our first approach we have the quartz and whatnot for it i just got enough wood so let's get that going we'll make that into sticks beautiful and we'll get this wooden gear one of you excellent we are going to need some granite might as well use it we collected it might as well use it. Two of those, we got the gear, and we needed some quartz. I think it was three, right? Three quartz, boom, done. Quartz grindstone, so we have that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we can get ourselves the stick. Yeah, the wooden crank, that's the one. Boom, attach, shift, right click, just for you guys to know. We'll get that going, and we're going to start cranking up some of this iron. Uh, in the grindstone. Actually, I guess we can do all of it, can't we? Yeah, well, you know what? We might as well do... <sighs> really? Alright, we might as well do all three. We'll throw them all in there and just let it crank away. So, this is a manual way of doubling your ores. Probably one of the cheapest ways earlier on without needing to get power or anything else. Um, the other early one is definitely the Tinker's Construct Smeltery. That is another fantastic way of getting a lot of beautiful, beautiful doubling of ores and really capitalizing on that. But that does require a lot of coal to be cooked via furnace, as well as gravel, sand, and clay, which I'm on a mountain. I could go and get it. But let's go a different route. Let's do a little bit of a different route, right? I mean, we can sharpen up our tool for now. 
with tinkers and maybe we can look at some other tools that are in the pack i haven't even looked at the whole tech reborn situation which is advanced uh technological machines basically and multi-blocks and all that kind of stuff um as to what it has i mean obviously it's adding all the different drills and stuff for industrial craft so yeah yeah <laughs> downpouring in real life oh boy hopefully there's no tornadoes i know that there's been a few uh coming about uh tornadoes and whatnot down in the united states so be safe everybody be safe all right so we're getting some pulverized iron as you can see it's not very fast it's really not fast not at all but we are doubling our profits right so that 16 iron is very useful in getting us closer to upgrading our tool station which is definitely one of my goals because i want that hammer so let's get some more iron to upgrade the tool station we need to get either pig iron we need to get basically four blocks of metal and then we're going to need some seared bricks now seared bricks we're going to have to get with some grout which is that clay sand gravel mixture that i was just talking about for your smeltery now it looks like we have a lot of gravel around just quickly scanning the horizon here and there is a little bit of sand up there which i'm probably going to steal and there we go now it's pouring in game life as well um grab some of that i don't think i might have to go over to the river if i'm looking at the map to get some clay i don't think i'm going to find any anywhere else in this world so i'm probably going to have to run over there to get some clay going um and get all that so i'll have to do a little bit of that to get some seared bricks going and that should give us our tool forge very helpful very very helpful how are we at an odd number does it have a low chance of not doubling seems strange to me seems very spoopy yeah how did we end up with 13 i'm so confused it's fine it's fine yeah 17 that makes sense all right one two boom so that should give us a decent amount of iron overall i'm gonna just leave this for a quick sec with our resources in it and i'm gonna go gather the other things that we need this sand right here for example is mine come with me thank you um i'm not even sure how much we need if we're not building a smeltery right out of the get-go how much of it do we really truly require um we're gonna need a lot for glass so let's get a little bit of extra sand while we're at it hello puppy hello should i tame you i need a bone i need a bone to tame you maybe when i get a bone i'll come and uh come and say hello hey don't growl at me don't you growl at me just because you're getting wet not my fault not my fault it's raining that's mother nature that's minecraft days all right we'll get some gravel too. get that process up and running um and then, yeah, we need to find some clay. Clay is going to be the big one. Oh, we got some flint, eh? We got some flint, eh? All right, that's more sand. I think I'm going to have to head over to the river, which is over in this general direction. Also, I haven't seen a slime island. So that's another thing that we probably should look for pretty soon to see if we can't find one to get some of the slime goodies. Um from that beautiful mod oh this looks promising oh a mallowberry bush hello hello free food i love free food okay good let's get these as well take all the goodies and haha -ha, some clay i said that this looked promising there we go we'll just mine some of this up nice and quickly here really really game fine there we go all right get some of this clay very nice and hello squid what's going on mr squid welcome to the series all right good let's get this and let's make some grout quickly and see about getting some seared stone so that plus that plus that gives us two each we need 12 total so done that's all we need for the tool forge um and that's all i'm gonna get for right now 
pretty straightforward, pretty simple, nothing too out there. Um, we're going to get this done up in a furnace. I think I'm going to make another one while we're at it. Eight. Good. Um, in the meantime, we can go boom, 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 boom. And we're out of room. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's quickly make another furnace. Good. And we'll go like this. And we'll go one of you. Start cooking. And then one, two, three, four. Good. So that'll give us all 12. We're getting lots of iron here. We got the hardware. We're acquiring it beautifully. That gives us three total blocks of iron for now. That's good. So we need eight more. Do we have eight in there? We do not. So we need a little bit more iron to cook up to complete this tool forge. Once I have everything for that, we will make our hammer. All right, so here we go. There's our seared bricks. We are getting pretty much at nighttime. A little bit dangerous to be out here and doing this, um, especially considering I haven't really lit up the area at all. This is not a good time, and I still don't have a bed, which is kind of a shame, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things, right? There's no sheep nearby, so got to get them sheeples uh, before we can really get too into it. I'm just going to throw down some quick little torches. I can't do much about the mountain at this point in time, um, which is a little concerning. Hey, Amos, another one of my admins. Beautiful, beautiful people doing all the work while I slack off and just play video games. I love them. <laughs> can't go wrong. All right, uh, we'll get those down like so. That should at least assist a little bit with the whole mob spawning around us. Um, we could still get some from above and falling on us, which would not be fun. That would not be fun. But we do have our tool forge set up now. How sweet is that? Let's quickly just repair our mattock here. And our chest is pretty much 100% full. Uh, I should just plant the mallowberry bush. Mm, yeah, right there. Perfect spot. Just throwing everything everywhere. It, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. All right, good. We got some more iron cooking up. That's awesome. I think for right now, though, all we're going to do is we are going to make the basic hammer. Pretty much. Two large plates, a hammerhead, and a tough tool rod. So we are going to need the stencils for that. We're going to need the hammerhead. We're going to need the large plate pattern as well as the tough tool rod. Now, I like to do the basics of the basics for this thing and use the stone that we have, right? Stone is so easy to repair and so easy to use. I highly recommend using it as much as possible, especially early on. So a quick little stone, then we can do two plates out of it as well. And then I usually like to... Um, I usually like to set up the whole uh, sticks for the the handle. So let's get a little bit of that. Good. Boom. Excellent. All right. Good. So we have everything set up. Let's get our hammer. This is probably, I don't know, pretty quick, I guess. Hammer. There we go. Okay. So we got a hammer. We are good to go on that. And yeah, I think between this and next episode, I'm going to go and do a whole bunch of mining. That's the main goal here at this point, um, and some of the, you know, grinding and all that type of stuff. But for the most part, I am looking to mine. Um, I, oh, I did need to get a iron pickaxe before I forget. Uh, let's get one of those quickly as well. We do have the iron available, so let's get a quick little boop, boop, done. All right, and yeah. Other than that, I think that's about her for the first episode. Hammer, we've made a nice little tunnel. We talked a lot about the mods, the new pack, how excited we all are. We can now get the Peridot ore here that's kind of blocking our way. And we can actually use this to make a pickaxe as well, which will do, as far as I'm aware, diamond level. So that might be a route that we go um, as well. I believe there is some more right up here as well. So we can get a little bit more peridot ore as necessary. But we're going to just blast through with the hammer as much as possible. Run into as much lava as possible. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. What a start. All that lerva. 
all that larva. Maybe we can use it to our advantage. You never know. Anyways, everybody, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I really do appreciate you all at least giving the channel a shot if this is the first video of mine that you've seen. Um, I've been around a long time, and I hope you can stick around and become part of the community. Thank you all so much. Have a good one.